Here's a choice for you. In business, would you prefer to be respected or would you prefer to be liked? Hmm, respected, like, well, let's look at that. Welcome to On The Mats. My name's Nathan McDonald and I'm looking for another great instalment or another good topic that we want to talk about. Well, today we're going to talk about would you like to be respected or would you like to be liked? Well, you know what? Why can't you have both? And you can easily have both. For instance, look at Richard Branson. Perfect example. He is liked by a lot of people, but he's also respected as a very good business owner. So how can you do the same? Well, First of all, I'd like to bring up why am I talking about this topic? I see so many times of team members and customers not respecting the business owner or someone like yourself. They walk all over them, they don't pay their bills, the team talk behind you, your back. So, I guess the key question is if they're doing all of that, you're not really respected. Maybe because you're too much trying to be liked. And human nature, we don't not like to be liked. We want to have that feeling that people like us, but it is a very big downfall in your business and it is extremely incredible to earn that respect. And how do you earn that respect? Well, let's look at it this way. Point one, you need to understand the FIFO method. And what that is, is first in, fire out. Now, we can put another little explicit in there, first in, or, mm, but we wanna keep this a friendly show. Reality is, you've gotta learn how to actually fire someone, whether that's a customer, a supplier, or a team member, or anyone who's not respecting you. Because as soon as you do that, you will start getting people respecting you, going, oh, I can't believe they just fired that person, wow. All of a sudden you get that respect. So you've gotta look at, is there anyone in your organization, customers or anyone around you, that you need to get rid of? The second point, make those hard decisions. Call it when it needs to be called. Sit there and go, hey, you didn't do that, why not? How do you go get that done? What's it going to take to get that done? Be the business owner that you need to be in your business to get what you need to be. And that is very, very important to look at. The third point, you need to respect yourself. If all of a sudden you've got all your team members or your customers or suppliers or your emails or whatever interrupting you day in, day out, you're not respecting your time. So how are anyone else is going to respect your time? They'll be more than happy to dump it on you, be happy to let you do it till 10 o'clock at night or get up early at four o'clock in the morning just so you work. You need to start respecting your time and the easiest way to do that is say no. No, guys listen, no. Not now, later on. So, start respecting your time. And of course, what we've got to look at is the last point, is walk the talk. And if you want to be respected, you need to walk the talk. In martial arts, when I'm teaching, I will never, ever, ever give anybody a technique to do unless I'm willing to demonstrate it and do it myself. And I get that respect. I don't ask for respect, I don't need to. Because within anyone signing up to the martial arts group that I work um, with or that I do and I run, I can tell you now it's pretty quick that I get respect because they can see that I'm in there. I'm doing warm up with them, I'm getting in there. I'm showing them how to do it and holding them accountable and making sure that they're doing the techniques correctly. I just won't sign off any old techniques. I won't give you a belt just because you've been there a length of time. I know business owners that have been in, year, in business 20 years still slogging their guts out 60 hours a week and that's because they don't respect themselves. So guys, it's now time to look at being respected, not liked. And you can have both, but I know which path that I will help business owners get to, and that is to be respected. Thanks for watching another series of On The Mats, and go and check out our Path to Business Mastery course. Absolutely incredible, guys. It's on the link below. You'll get so much out of it. So that's it for me. My name's Nathan McDonald. I'm an Aussie. My message is global and my passion is business. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy.